I will never forget my days in the wilderness. The scar that the wilderness gave me will live with me for all my life. Oh, when everybody rejected me, I was, I was, the only person I had was God. You see, you see, you see, oh, I would not have followed God like this if not that God orchestrated. And I saw how unreliable human beings are. Oh, I learned how to bend my knees before God. I learned how to bend my knees. And I labored for years. And he did not answer me. He will test you to know why you are looking for him. So he won't answer you initially. And if your destiny is great, it, it, it will leave you without answers for eight years. So that he can test the content of your heart. You, is just three years you've been, you've been in the balance. And everybody has heard. Pastor has heard. Pastor's wife has heard. Hey. You don't want to leave all the Chaldees. That's why you are talking to everybody. Wake up! None of us will remain at home. Everyone will travel. Get the out. When you come out, you'll be exposed to the rain. And then you will find how God intends you to survive it. We have no experience with God again. Because we are leaning on support systems. Meanwhile, he wants you to be alone. Sometimes when God wants to help you, that your uncle that likes you, that doesn't want to, you to suffer, he will die. Mm. You will cry. But that is, he has exposed you to the direct hand of his parentage. Yes, now you will hear him if he speaks. Now you will consult him even if he's far away. You will wait for him. That's how men are made. That's how men are made. I learned how to pray. And prayer was not, it didn't come naturally to me. Any man that you see that is my height, if they sleep, they sleep deep. Because it takes a lot to carry this mountain. <laughs> so you'll be tired. And the people mentoring us, they say, when men... It's not from the Bible. I don't know where they got it from. They say, when men are asleep, spirits are active. So if you want to meet with spirits, it's better for you to learn how to be awake when men are asleep. That's <laughs> I try to learn how to pray. I will sleep off. They say if you put your legs in water, that you will, you will be awake. My, my flesh... Generated a new technology and I could sleep like that. They say, okay, okay, take, take uh, uh, gravel, stone, put it in your pocket so that when you sleep, the thing will press you and then you wake up. Oh, the flesh modified this capacity. Ah. Then one day I stood and said, Lord, do you know it's hard to serve you? Have you, have you considered it? Then he, he now took me to the book of Psalms, chapter 80, verse 18. Eighty, eighty, Psalms 8, 0, verse 18. Psalms, is it that 18, 80 or 8, 80? Uh, why is it so difficult for this, my people, today? Jesus Christ. Okay, let me look for it, my son. Huh? Zero. Yes, this is my scripture. Eighty eighteen. He showed me this scripture. He said, "So will we not go back from D? That means we, we are frustrated, though we are not happy, but we have covenanted that we will not go back. No, we will not go back until we find how you how you have determined that this journey will be." So we will not go back from thee, quicken us. And we shall call upon thy name. That was when I discovered that if God does not quicken a man, that man cannot pray. And I, I love the scripture because it puts the responsibility on God and not on me. So I say, God, you are the one behind my prayerlessness. <laughs> you say, I have not asked him to quicken me yet. So 
quicken us. He said, the scripture you are seeing, the person is asking God, quicken us. You did not ask me to quicken. Ah. I stopped struggling. As I'm praying in talks early in the morning, I'm just asking him, quicken me. It's not my business. It's your business. That was when I began to mount up. Oh, shit. I began to. I began. I learned this one alone. There are many things you will learn during Bible study, but that will not insulate you from what you need to learn alone. Quicken us, and we shall call upon thy name. 